time Boris Johnson's cabinets arrived for their morning meeting, Westminster was awash with the news that Downing Street had decided to play hardball with the European Union. Probably they hadn't even been briefed on the suggestion that the UK looked like readying itself to collapse the talks on a compromise deal, but that does appear to be the suggestion. Faced with the delaying, disruptive and denying tactics of the opposition, we say on behalf of the 17.4 million, enough, 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 we need to leave. Yeah. Downing Street then briefed that the German Chancellor had demanded that the economy of Northern Ireland stay in the EU's orbit, putting the last nail in the coffin. But the EU insisted the talks were not yet dead. Technical talks are continuing today, so uh, I don't see how talks could have actually been broken down if they are happening today uh, and uh, in the days uh, to continue. There is no denying the loss of faith, though. The president of the European Council, Donald Tusk, tweeted this. Boris Johnson, what's at stake is not winning some stupid blame game. At stake is the future of Europe and the UK, as well as the security and interests of our people. You don't want a deal. You don't want an extension. You don't want to revoke. Quo Vardis, which is Latin for where are you going? With Parliament suspended from Wednesday, opposition parties now assume Johnson will call an election next week after accepting a Brexit extension as demanded by Parliament and then campaigning to leave the EU with no deal. By getting them to then offer the extension perhaps on the 17th of October or the 18th of October uh, when the European Council meet, he would then be able to say to Parliament and to Jeremy Corbyn in particular, I've got the extension, I want my general election now, and I think in those circumstances Jeremy Corbyn would be highly likely to say yes. The blame game between London and Brussels mirrors the entire Brexit debate. There's precious little left, except bad blood. Certainly the European Union never really thought that Boris Johnson administration was actually interested in a deal because his proposed compromise over what happens in Northern Ireland is so complicated and convoluted, the EU thinks it was basically set up to fail. It is assumed, though, that if Boris Johnson asks them for an extension to Brexit, they will grant it, if only as a last chance hope that a different government might be elected in a national election which could save the UK and the EU from a no-deal Brexit. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in London.